Hi, Carol Daphne here. Thank you for your kind message and uh, noted that you're at the end of the this essay pack. You want to keep going with another one? That's great. Um, I will make a note of that and it will be lovely to work with you. I'm sure that's absolutely fine. Ellen and I quite often do this. If we've worked with one student for a long time, we, we swap. It just gives you a fresh voice, maybe a fresh insight, some different ideas. Um, so that's not a problem. My pleasure. Uh, so many governments in the world spend large amounts of money on art, which helps develop quality in people's lives. Okay, this is interesting. So we have to say, hmm, really, does it? Okay. However, governments should spend money on other things. So do you agree or disagree? Give your opinion. Right. Let's have a look. So experts throughout the world believe that governments should limit the budget, which is being spent on art, and start investing money on other things. Now, yes, I mean, should spend... I think we need to be a bit more tentative here. Experts try to believe, but I would go, have suggested that. Believe seems quite strong here compared to the tone of that. So I'd modify a bit. Here's actually that governments might. I really like these modal verbs, might or could. They're my favourite words in IELTS. They work very well. Should is strong. Uh, I know should is here, but we're just kind of doing it a little bit more gently. Uh, so I would go have suggested, present perfect. The governments might limit the budget which is being spent on art and start investing money in other things. Tell me what. Yeah. Such as healthcare or improved healthcare. Or education. So immediately tell me where you're going lead the examiner into the essay think of the introduction literally as you're like leading with a signpost we call it signposting or signaling signaling where you're going uh this essay will analyze this including why i agree so on is a negative step okay good that's fine it's already been recognized that art can bring quality in people's lives through interaction with master passes and talented people in this field okay good that's nice um through um, maybe emotional interaction. What kind of interaction? Let's get some great vocab in here. Emotional interaction with masterpieces and exposure to or contact with. So if I'm giving you any new vocab, write it down. Then we can try and use it again. Uh, the art industry holds an important niche in the cultural sector. Provides jobs for people Okay, who and therefore financial support from the government is essential to keep this industry going. Okay, really nice. Good writing. Okay, for many uh, artistic and creative uh, in workers, maybe. So again, the word people is just mm, quite boring. But here I've got two really nice adjectives in there and another noun. So I'm going for maximum points on the lexical field, on the vocab here. Uh, that's really nice. Good. For example, local newspaper report uh, in Russia, if that's where you are. But keep it local to where you are. That's great. So specify here. I'm going to underline that. Be specific. Demonstrated that many European countries, by investing money in the art industry, attract a significant amount of tourists. Aha. Okay. Have attracted. Present perfect or even are attracting. So mix up your tenses, show me more grammar, more uh, kind of confidence in your different grammar tenses. A significant amount of tourists and subsequently create jobs. Now, okay, how does tourists make jobs? I'm questioning the link in this example. Um, jobs in museums and galleries for locals you if you're looking for your band seven your example must work and so for me you need to add that in for the example to work it's not the tourists that are giving that are making the jobs immediately it's this connection the uh the museums would want would give jobs therefore it's clear even with the support of a minority art can still attract people to its industry and improve the quality of their lives. 
by communication. Uh, maybe communication and employment, because you've mentioned two benefits. One the communication and one the employment. So just make sure that absolutely every sentence you write connects to this question and connects to what you've just been writing before. So that's the coherence element. So however, despite the aforementioned benefits, comma, there are some disadvantages behind investing a huge portion of the budget in art. Okay. Uh, we're not saying a huge amount, though. Uh, you almost want to say any. Uh, any. Or, let's do it this way. Rather than investing, okay, allocating a portion. Investing is okay, but I think allocating might be better. Being supported by a few arts cannot compete where there are other activities such as football, which is more popular. Yeah, but do the government give money to football? Are they, I don't think they do in the UK. Um, so think about that question. Being supported by a few arts. I think it may be the other way around. Supporting the arts. We would call it the arts capital like that. Supporting the arts cannot compete with other activities such as football, which is more popular. Um, I think I would change that. I'd go back to my suggestion at the beginning when I talked about healthcare. So for me, by talking about football, you're going quite a long way off the point. Um, let's just put that in a different colour, sorry. Um, so which links up with my healthcare in the Intro. Across the globe, it's obvious that there are more people watching football in stadiums than looking at sculptures. An extensive study by the Russian AN state government has shown that there are about 5% of the worldwide population interested in art. Um, okay, the resources diverted to such products come from the public and should be spent in a way that benefits them. This fact makes it impossible that art can bring qualities into a community if the galleries hold little interest. I get that. It's nice writing, but I would question your argument. So for me, the coherence here you've and the task achievement, you're, you've gone off the point. So here you should say that the money needed, money is needed for an ever stretched and overcrowded health service including hospitals and medical equipment. Um, would be or could be better invested um, here compared to and then then you can have in your bit about projects and art and everything. So I would shift the whole thing from football onto hospitals or even onto education. So to conclude, I believe that art benefits a small minority and on a large scale cannot bring quality in people's lives. It's predicted in the future. Um, we'll get less support. Um, I th There's a quite a few things here. It's very interesting. You've written a really nice essay. So here you're saying, here you're talking about the benefits of it and the qualities, it's the quality to people's lives. Here, you've got the idea about the quality of people's lives, but I'd almost make that bit smaller. So although art could bring quality to people's lives, um, the government should be investing more money on football. Spend, focus a little bit more on that part of the question. I think that's really, really important. So I hope that clarifies that. Uh, first paragraph, okay. Second paragraph, I'm just questioning the coherence and the task achievement in answering the question. But good work on uh, your grammar there, and let's push the vocab. So you've recently bought a new computer for your flat, it didn't work. Um, so this is a letter of complaint. So dear sir, madam, and yours faithfully, good. I'm contacting you in relation to my recent purchase. Of, yep. Firstly, the computer. Um, yep. Firstly, the computer screen fails to display in full colour, at which. I was unable to um, to uh, repair alone. Just need to make that a little bit longer. Just expand it. This would follow by a repeated error message by which the laptop would uh, so 
past tense. So not would usually. I just go froze and crashed. Uh, so past simple there. So which seems to have multiple errors. You need to tell me there's a problem. Okay, so, okay, you're contacting me, but I don't know if you're contacting me to say it's amazing or contacting me to say it's got a problem. So you need to say, seem to have problems. This is the first problem, that's the second problem, past tense. In addition, there was a loud noise coming out from its process and making it uncomfortable to work with. Good. After trying nice to call the shop customer service several times, I was placed in the queue. Yes, so annoying when that happens. Uh, the assistant on the other end of the line, well done, on the other end of the line, we say, could not choose a better option rather than to drive you to contact you direct. Good. Very nice grammar there. Due to all of these problems, including, comma, lack of customer service, comma, I would like a full refund. I've already returned the laptop, the receipt, and original packaging. Please, very good. Lovely. Confident on those task ones. Just watch out on your tenses there. Otherwise, lovely work showing me the grammar. So bring this beautiful grammar into your task too. That's easily done. Okay. Uh, well done. 